Hey everybody, this is Martin Ramirez from MI5. If you guys don't know me by now, my name is Martin Ramirez. My program is called MI5, stands for Millionaire in Five Years or Less. Um, I used to be just a grocery store deli clerk. And I went from deli clerk to having a million dollar net worth in only three years time period. So a lot of people ask, well, how did you, how did you get a million dollar net worth in three years? And that's what I'm here to tell you today. There's three simple steps they could help you get started now on your journey to becoming a millionaire or if you just want to increase your income you want to make six figures whatever your personal goal may be I'm here to help you so let me flip the camera real quick and we'll get to the whiteboard and we'll get started we're here at the whiteboard and we got the three steps written down number one is you got to establish your your base income and what is a base income that is going to be your your job or your job or you have to have at least some form of income if you're not working a nine to five or a part-time job so my job for three years was only paying me between 20 to 24 K per year in my grocery clerk job I was a part-time employee many times working uh, full-time or overtime and still was not able to make a lot of money because the pay was not very high. Now, I searched high and low looking for ways to get out of financial distress. I got tired of living paycheck to paycheck and wondering if that's the way that my life was gonna be from now on. Um, I started my journey about at the age of about 37 years old and I'll come to say retire by about 40. So, um, your next step, like I said, you got to have your base income. Most people probably have that. If you don't, you're going to need to get something. Two, is you're going to have to cut your expenses. Now, if you look deeply into your finances or your monthly bills, you're probably going to find out that you're paying too much money for certain things that you don't need. I know I was. You can probably cut back on your phone. Um, you don't need to be buying flat screen TVs every minute. You can get a, an affordable car. Most people's main, main problem that really kills them is car payment and believe it or not, phones. I worked with two women and some other guys too, but one was paying 600 and something dollars per month for her car payment, making pretty much what I was here, maybe not much more, maybe 50 cents an hour extra, make, paying $650 a month for a car. When you're only making 20 to 24K, that's absolutely ridiculous and you should not be doing that. I don't care what anybody says and how they try to justify it. If you're going to go that route and you're probably on the wrong channel and I'm not going to be able to help you. Phones. Another girl that worked there making about the same pay. Everybody pretty much made the same thing. We were all clerks. Was spending, I think it was $450 a month on her family phone plans. And she wasn't making good money and definitely was not helping any with nearly $500 a month on phones. Okay, I'm going to show you guys later what you can do with $500 a month to make you guys some substantial income. Remember, this car payments and phones are liabilities unless they're making you money. Okay, assets are things that you put money in that are going to make you money in return. All right, so that definitely was not working out very well. So cut expenses, okay? So that's your second step. Step number three is you're going to want to increase your income now just by following step number two cutting your expenses you're automatically going to increase the amount of money that, you, that you're bringing in or keeping remember it's not how much money you make it's how much money you keep you want to keep as much money as you possibly can everybody tells me they love money i'm like no you don't you don't love money you really don't because every time you get it in your hands somebody gives it to you you're freaking 
trying to throw it back away. You're like, oh, here, let me go spend it as soon as I make it, you know? A lot of people don't appreciate that money. They say they like it, but they don't because they're giving it back as soon as they possibly can. And you're going to learn through my steps and my program, MI5, to start keeping that valuable money that you're making. And then I'm going to show you guys how to make this money make you even more money. So the, your money are going to have babies. Okay? That's pr pretty much the easiest way to say it. You're going to start, your, your money's going to start making babies. All right? So increase income. Money will make babies. All right? So, you might ask, Martin, what did you do to increase your income? Well, I did cut back on my expenses, like I told you. And I invested my time and energy learning. I'm going to write it right here. So, technically, your three steps are up here. You can start just doing this, okay? And number four I'm going to write is going to be passive income. Now, what is passive income? Passive income is going to be money that you make, not have to physically being at a brick and mortar business like McDonald's, Taco Bell, uh, a bank, Starbucks, wherever you may happen to work. In order to do those kind of jobs, those are active income. You have to physically be there, clock in, and work anywhere from four to 10 hours a day, depending upon whether you're full-time, part-time, whatever it may be. Passive income enables you to make money from anywhere you're at, and while you might even be doing your, your base job, okay? So say you're working at Circle K, um, any kind of convenience store, whatever. While you're there working, your passive income could be making you money while you're at your physical job. That's exactly what I was doing. And my passive income was Shopify. Shopify is what's considered drop shipping. And I'll get into that more on next video because I, I want to keep this one pretty basic. But just keep that in mind there. And also, one of the main things that I had before I even started my passive income is I had to do additional active income through. I don't know if you guys can see this anymore. Uh, All right, if you guys cannot see that because it's kind of far down there. Number five is gig economy jobs. And what are gig economy jobs? Well, my very first gig economy job was a company called Lyft, L-Y-F-T. And if you guys don't know, it's very similar to Uber. You pick up people in your own car and you take them where you need to go and then you get paid. The great thing about that job was flexibility because when I had my base job, up here, I tried to get other physical jobs. Like uh, I tried to get a job at Subway. My base job, my initial one, said you can't do that because it's too similar to what we do here, and you could get fired. And even if I did, they didn't want to work with the hours of the Subway location that I wanted to work at. So it was conflicting. Now, I eliminated that problem by working for Lyft, and being able to create flexible hours of my own, you work, well, I don't know how they're doing it now because I've been hearing different things about it, but at the time, you could do it at your own pace, you clock in, as soon as you log in on your phone, you wait for somebody that needs it picked up and then you go pick them up and when you're done, you want to take a, a break at 12 noon and go do what you need to do, you got to go pick up your kids, you got to do something, then you can start working at 2 o'clock again and then keep working until 10 o'clock at night if you want to. So that was the great thing about Lyft and other gig economy jobs. I've worked for several of them. Uh, Lyft was the first one. 
Then I worked for Postmates. And then I worked for Shipped. And then I worked for a company called Instacart. Those are shopping gigs. You shop for people's groceries and then you take them and deliver them to them. And I really liked doing that. It was my own boss, really. You work at your own pace. You got to be quick, though. And you do your own hours. And I'll talk to you guys more about that later. But anyway, I'm going to end this video for right now. Like I said, the first three things you can do. Work your base income job. If you don't have one, you're going to need to get one or some for, uh, form of income. Two, start cutting your expenses. Stop going out wasting money on fancy restaurants, um, flat screen TVs, jewelry, clothes. Don't worry about any of that stuff. Trust me, I don't. Three, increase your income. Now, that's going to be through, like I told you, passive income and then a gig economy job. You're probably going to want to do gig economy jobs first because it does take uh, some money to get started with your passive income businesses such as Shopify. You will have to pay some money to maintain your business depending upon how big you want to grow it. So that's it for this particular video. All right. That's it for this particular video. Those are my three tips to get started today of being on your journey to become a millionaire. If you guys are serious about wanting to become a millionaire in five years or less, I know you can do it. It took me three. I had two years to spare, and that was awesome. Quitting my uh, grocery deli clerk job was the best feeling of my entire life. It was so liberating. Now I can come and go as I please, do what I need to do when I want to do. Instead of being inside the store, frying chicken for people and slicing deli meat all day, I'm out here, I can come out here and make videos for you guys and show you what you need to do to take your income to the next level and get out of that rut. You become stagnant and you need to get out of it and nobody can get you out of it but you. But I'm here to help, so if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Make sure you guys please like this video because I went through a lot of trouble to make this and it's going to start getting hot. I'm out here in the desert, if you guys can see. Um, I really enjoy doing it, though, and I like helping you guys, so it doesn't bother me. And uh, like I said, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys can see when I po post up uh, new videos because I'm going to be talking more about passive income on my new ones. So that's it. We'll see you guys in the next one.